Hello, welcome back to our channel, Daddy, Dad and Me. Uh, it's myself and my husband and we are same-sex adopters-to-be. We recently got matched to a beautiful little boy called, who we call Little Man. Um, and we've been on our, our adoption journey since July 2018, so coming up for a few years now. Um, for those who are regulars, welcome back and we hope you enjoy the content. Please feel free to subscribe, to share. Um, you can see us on all of the socials at Daddy, Dad and Me. Our video today is going to be around books around adoption. We know when we very first started our journey, there, I wouldn't say it's an expectation um, by some agencies, but you have to show your learnings and uh, to document where you've been finding out, whether that be podcasts, websites, blogs, vlogs, um, and more specifically around books. Myself and my husband are quite uh, bookworm people, so we enjoy reading. So uh, that was our kind of first place to go to. Um, we did actually get recommendations from our adoption agency or their book list is what they call it. And that's where a lot of the books you'll, you'll see today that I mentioned today have come from. Um, so sit back, relax and we'll dive straight in. So the first set of books are from the Coram Bath Adoption and Fostering Agency. Now we have probably most of them here, but I know there are a few that we have missing or haven't got. Um, these are books that are all from different um, kind of behaviours or backgrounds and delve deep into each particular subject area. So the ones we've got here are domestic violence, autism uh, spectrum disorder, mental health issues, genetic disorders, sexual abuse, parental substance misuse, emotional and behavioural difficulties, dyslexia, and developmental delay. Um, so quite a few books there. What I would say is one recommendation that we came with with them is that a social worker said to us, so I'll just pick one here, so the developmental delay, um, is that you can read the whole books if you want to. They are quite specific. Um, and what we really enjoyed is you'll get probably about halfway through and you'll actually get to some case studies. These are more relevant than, I would say, the rest of the book. A lot of it goes into to why and say some people find that very beneficial and informative. We say um, the case studies I think you can um, relate to more. So that's something that we personally found with all of the books there that I've just mentioned. That you say you can pick bits out um, here. They're not that detailed. So it's only you've probably got about fifty pages or so. So again, not War and Peace. Um, but yeah, we found the case studies for each of those most informative for us, and it gives you a very good background as to the different children that you may encounter um, throughout fostering and adoption, and say. So for us there it gave us a very good um, grounding when it came to the assessment sessions because obviously that's something that you have to talk about the types of children um, that you're you're happy to consider further and that's where a lot of that reading comes in helpful because you talk about a lot of those subjects um, and again it's a very real life scenario so for instance substance misuse from the birth parents there are certain things um, that will affect the child and that's right from through to the pregnancy through to birth etc so um, I won't go into it to all of them but yeah very informative and they are uh, just as it says they're parenting a child with um, and yeah the Cor and Beth Adoption and Fostering Academy for those we managed to get all of those off eBay. Uh, I think, I don't know, it says £8.95 here. I think we only paid a few pounds. Um, so don't go and buy out, buy new. Um, there are plenty on eBay to look for. So that was our first lot of books. The second book that I would like to recommend would be A Child's Journey Through Placement, which is another Coram Bath book. As you'll see here, it is quite a chunky book. I think it's about 400 pages or so. Um, 
Retail price is £23.50. Again, this was another eBay purchase for us. What I would say is it's a book that you can skip parts if you would like to. It is quite detailed. Some things went over my head. Um, I think I read this. So we're obviously coming to the end of a two-year journey or so. This was probably right at the start. And it just gave me a good idea of what to expect, what to happen, um, or what may happen. And it just for me personally speaking going into the assessment sessions when it was time to talk about uh, um, when the child comes to you, child children that are within the care system or so this just gave me a very good understanding and knowledge of that um, and I can kind of pick and choose parts that I wanted to read so again another good book from Coram Bath and you'll find a lot of them are um, so yeah have a look on eBay or Amazon or wherever you want to to look for secondhand books and yeah a good read um, it'll probably take you a good good few weeks or so depending on how often you read uh, anything like me it takes me a while so the next book uh, is a book that was recommended to me by our neighbour and it's not something I would have ever considered before I've heard of very different parenting styles etc and this is a book from Sarah Ockwell Smith and it's called The Gentle Parenting Book. I just had a discussion with my neighbour one day obviously they're very aware that we are going through the adoption process and for she's now got two one boy one girl and she said that she really benefited from this book and it talks about from birth or prior to birth kind of things that can can happen or can um, influence a child with the way that you um, manage their behaviours and for me this was just very insightful and I will take some parts of this some parts I didn't necessarily agree with and I'm not here to preach to other people about that but I found this very insightful as to how to to manage those emotions for some children just say you'll hear of the terrible twos etc and a lot of it isn't um about saying no to them it's about finding other ways in which to manage that um they're very good scenarios and examples within there didn't take me long to read at all and there's lots of books about gentle parenting again not a phrase i was particularly aware of before i don't think some people are um and yeah it was just a very good insight into that style of parenting um and it's something i'm when i see my neighbor's children now i can see the um effect it has them and the positive effect it has on her children now the fourth book i probably think most adopters um if not all adopters that we've uh, encountered have spoken to have this book i would say it is almost like a bible i'm not religious in any way um, i don't follow any faith but it is a bible for a lot of adopters you may have heard the term therapeutic parenting and this book by sarah nash the a to z of therapeutic parenting i say we don't have little man just yet but it is on our bookshelf ready to go um i really enjoyed this i didn't expect no i wouldn't say expect to enjoy it because you just think it will just go through quite quickly and it, it doesn't it really goes into detail for particular behaviors um things to look for how to manage it and why they may do certain things and what i wanted to do in particular to this book because i'm a huge advocate for this book is just to go into explain so just so you kind of get a feel for how the book is set up so sorry just going to trying to find a sweet topic so here so it's swearing or see also aggression and rudeness what it looks like the child swears in conversation the child use so the child uses swearing to try to shock others the child swears in an aggressive or insultive manner and the child uses swearing as part of everyday conversation why it might happen so for every um, behavior so you've got the one about biting spitting uh, they hide food or um, almost want to gorge on food it says what why that may happen so again very insightful um so for here so, so for uh, swearing the need to feel in control and powerful swearing may be a way to try to keep people away or an effort to control them i say some of them it 
kind of goes into a few bullet points, others it will go into quite uh, an in-depth explanation. Preventative strategies, so again it explains more so uh, about why you may want to, I would say divert, but trying to find ways in which to, to avoid it. For, so for swearing here, I liked this one because it was make up a word, so clanters is quite good for example. I couldn't clunt and do it. Say it accidentally, appear flustered about having said it, apologise and then ask the child not to say it under any circumstance. So again, it's just finding ways in which to uh, manage their behaviours and obviously swearing is one you want obviously a child to refrain from. Strategies during, so it goes into uh, if you're in the midst of that, um, what to, to try and do or how to avoid certain things. Strategies after some, you will also find it gives you kind of quite detailed responses here. So again, really recommend this book. What I would say as well as myself and my husband are part of the National, sorry, National Association of Therapeutic Parents sign up to it i think it, there's a fee every month or if it's annually i can't remember um exactly when it comes out um and i would say sign up to this you will find this on most adopters bookshelves and it is a very very good book um yeah go and buy definitely recommend five stars and finally um what I'm about to show you, these are free books, so we didn't pay anything for them and I think the sentiment behind them is absolutely amazing. We discovered it last year and yeah, I was shocked that these were books that you could genuinely, like good books that you could genuinely go and get for free. Um, you might have heard of the Timpson Trust or the Timpson Shops. So these are books by Sir John Timpson, there's three of them. So here we've got Looking After, Looked After Children. Then we've got How to Create a Positive Future and A Guide to Attachment. We got these um, because I think they tweeted and just said about adopters, etc. And these books are all about attachment. So um, for us specifically, it was trying to share that message with our families. So we got, I think, about four or five sets of the books. There wasn't any limit to them ask them to send them to us and we then share these with family and friends so they really start to understand attachment um, and definitely the ones um, obviously that a guide to attachment is very simple kind of so yeah it's uh, we really enjoyed those you can go I say onto their website the Timpson Trust into one of the Timpson locksmiths they will have them behind um, their, their desks if you just ask them they will happily give them to you via their twitter page um, and there's also i think it's johnson's dry cleaners who are also part of the timpson trust the reason why they give these away is uh, sir john timpson was actually a foster carer for over 30 years so knows very much so about attachment uh, what to look for how to attach um, and these these books really do explain that. So yeah, free books, I cannot recommend enough. Um, go and get them if you can. And that is really it. So these are the books that are always have sat on our bookshelves. Um, some of them for a little bit less time, but most of them for a few years or so. Recommend, uh, sorry, recommended uh, by our agency and others as well along our journeys. But I definitely would say our top, top, top one, which you probably get, is the A to Z Therapeutic Parenting. I hope you've enjoyed. Come back soon. Uh, there'll be lots more on the channel. Please do subscribe, check out the blog and say our Twitter, Instagram and Facebook pages. Take care and see you soon. Bye.